it's Joe. Welcome back to the Cat Scrappiness YouTube channel. Today's project will be featuring the Cat Scrappiness products, the layered coffee cup die here, the Let's Get Caffeinated stamp set. Also, I'll be using the Happy Pumpkin Sprinkles, Happy Fall Y'all stamp set, the wonky wavy stitched rectangle dies, as well as the Crafters Essentials fall die set here. So let's get started with the coloring and my project. Here I'm getting the large uh, rectangle die from the Wonky Wavy Stitch set and then I just cut um, some white cardstock with it. Now I'm going to uh, start uh, assembling or creating the background. I use some black soot distress ink and then also walnut stain distress ink and I wanted to just create kind of like a coffee splatter in the back so here I added the water and I take a small paintbrush and I start splattering the black distress ink and then I just rub a little bit off and then I go into the walnut stain distress ink and I just um, leave it like that. Then next I get the cat scrappiness layered coffee cup die and I take the um, outline of the cup and I place it where I want my um, image to go and so here I cut it out in my uh, machine and then I have some A2 acetate sheets from Cat Scrappiness and then I just uh, trim it to size and I only cut it to the size of the coffee cup because I don't want to waste the rest so then I go ahead and add some adhesive to the back and then I will go ahead and place the acetate sheet to the cardstock. Now I start to um, assemble all the other elements of the layered coffee cup and then I have you can see the coffee sleeve and then here is the lid of the coffee die and then I'm just taking some walnut stain ink distress ink and then I'm just going to apply that on the edges and then I take this um, small little strip that's in that set and I go ahead and just use my zig two-way glue and then I just apply that on the back and then it goes like in the middle of that um, lid die cut then there's also two other pieces there which is a solid piece of the top of the lid and then the um, outline of the lid and so again I take the zig two-way uh, liquid glue pen and then I just put some glue dotted around the um, little trim there and then I place it on top of the cream cardstock and then that is how that set goes and then I go ahead and glue it on the um, lid die So after that, I take some mustard twine here and then I go ahead and wrap it around the coffee sleeve like three times. I trim it off and then I just use regular scotch tape to glue it together on the back side. And then I go ahead and adhere it to the um, coffee cup image with just some medium sized glue dots.
So the next thing after that, I go ahead and start to adhere the foam adhesive squares um, around the shaker portion of the image so that uh, none of the sequins will uh, fall out when it gets shaken up. And then also I skip that part just because I do tend to use a lot and you don't really need to see me apply all those squares. So the card base I'm using is a 110 pound cardstock and it's cream. So I go ahead and adhere some brown textured cardstock to the front of the card as you can see here. And that's it. That's just the base of the card. And then I go ahead and start creating the other elements of the card. So now I get the smallest rectangle die um, from the wonky wavy stitched rectangle dies and also get the other element, uh, the other die cut that I cut out of the splattered cardstock. So I'm using Distress Oxides in Fired Brick and Fossilized Amber and also the Distressed Ink in Spice Marmalade. I don't have the Oxide ink in that color but it's okay they all blend well because the oxides uh, blend very well and they also work well with the regular distress inks so I'm just going um, in between the three colors and I'm using the same blending tool it doesn't matter it didn't really um, transfer to the other ink pad so I'm just going back and forth with the three colors and you'll see at the end that they do blend very well and yeah so those are the colors I used and Let's get on to the next step. I take the rectangle piece and I put it in my Misty and then I get the Let's Get Caffeinated stamp set for Cat Scrappiness. I use the Wake Up and Smell the Coffee sentiment and then here you see I'm just lining it up and I use Versafine um, Black Onyx ink just because I really like how juicy this uh, ink pad is and I, I really want a good solid impression of the uh, sentiment so see how perfect that is nice and black I love it I'm using the same stamp set and I'm using the coffee bean images last minute I decided to uh, stamp the image on the card and I had already placed the uh, foam adhesive in the back so it was kinda tricky trying to make sure I had an even impression but since the coffee beans were black on this particular card, I was able to just use a regular Sharpie and color the spots that I missed when um, I didn't get the image correctly on the um, card. So there's three sizes of the coffee beans, and I used, I think I used all three of them. I used the large, the medium, and the small. Next, I'm taking the Crafters Essentials Fall die set, and this comes with several dies, but I'm going to be using the large um, backdrop die with the leaf there, and I'm only going to cut out the leaves. So I cut it out of several cardstock colors, and then also I fussy cut the images that I colored earlier with the Copic markers. Now I'm going to just start to assemble the card a little bit here and I'm using foam adhesive for that small rectangular square there with the sentiment and I'm placing it trying to get an idea where I want to put it and then there is that coffee uh, cup that I also colored with the distress inks and I place it where that um, die cut is with the acetate and then because I want it to perfectly line up when I lay down the top sh portion of the shaker card so here I am just trying to um, make sure it's nice and straight and then I go ahead and um, add some sequins that I pulled from my stash and just made up my own little fall mix and then also I'm going to be adding the uh, pumpkin sprinkles there and here I put some washi tape inside the card so that the card stays closed and it doesn't um, tilt the sequence off the card so here I'm just making sure that the sequence is in the middle and only in the cup because the adhesive is gonna go 
obviously around the cup and there are those pumpkin slices they are so cute and I figured this could be like a pumpkin spice latte so I added those with the um, sequins that I had already put together okay next then I go ahead and adhere the small rectangle with the sentiment onto the card right there I try to make it straight so that the coffee cup is at an angle and then I start um, layering the leaves um, cut from the Crafter Essentials fall die set and then also the uh, Copic colored images from the stamp set Happy Fall Y'all. So I put two of the leaves behind the uh, rectangle sentiment and then also I decide to pop up one of the uh, larger pumpkins and I set that down I think also then I go ahead and put one of the um, colored leaves behind the uh, pumpkin there and then on the um, green pumpkin I go ahead and cut a small piece of foam adhesive and I place it on the green one so that it's uh, raised and even with all the um, popped up images as well. And then the last three um, elements, the yellow leaf, the colored leaves, and also the smaller pumpkin, I go ahead and uh, layer that on top of the coffee sleeve. So now I'm taking some glossy accents and putting it just around the card and I'm also taking some of these um, brown circle sequins that I used inside the shaker part of my card and just putting it around the um, card just for some added detail. So thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed my card. I'll put a link to the Cat Scrappiness products in the description box below and also a link to my blog. Thank you for so much for watching and I'll see you soon. Bye!